And I'm now joined here in the studio by Jane Golding. She is the chair of British in Europe. Now, that is the biggest coalition group of British citizens living and working in the European Union. Welcome to you, Jane. Great to have you with us today. Thank you very much. Um, now, you represent the interests of British citizens living, working here in the European Union. Will things change for them later today when Britain leaves? Um, later today, of course, the transition period starts. And during the transition period, almost all of the rights stay the same. The only rights that British people in the EU27 will lose in transition are voting rights. So we won't be able to vote in local elections, we won't be able to stand in the countries where we live in local elections. What do you see happening at the end of this transition period? I mean, do you see it being a protracted period, for example, perhaps a more bumpy road than some people are thinking at this stage? For citizens, um, we have the withdrawal agreement. For those who are already living in the EU27, most of their rights will be guaranteed, but only in the host country where they live now. Um, but they will be losing EU-wide rights like freedom of movement. And that is a huge issue because nearly 80% of us are working age or younger and we are a very mobile population. So if you're an IT contractor or a computer games developer here in Berlin um, and your employer needs to send you on short contracts across the EU27, that is going to have a big impact on your career. Now, you're someone who's been interfacing with many of these people over the past three years. I mean, I think it's fair to say that Brits abroad have been living in limbo for, for quite some time throughout that period. I mean, have those years of uncertainty had an impact? They've had a huge impact, not just on British citizens living in the EU, but also the EU citizens in the UK. And we work really closely in our advocacy with the three million, the biggest group of EU citizens in the UK. Huge amounts of anxiety, people becoming quite depressed, especially the more vulnerable groups like pensioners, um, and just not knowing what is going to happen. And of course, the spectre of a no deal for so long, the last year and a half, people don't actually understand now that their rights are secured up to a point and also that nothing changes for 11 months apart from their political rights. All right, so a psychological impact as really well there that yes. shouldn't be underestimated. Thank yeah. you so much, Jane Golden, Chair of British in Europe. Great to have your perspective. Pleasure.